Hey guys, we're back. We're going to be doing a little bit of dry brushing today. So we're getting down to the very end. And what I'm going to do is first I'm going to dry brush some detail on the tracks. And then I'm going to dry brush uh, a little bit of uh, raised surface detail with a lightened color of the base color. In this case that would be to me a XF60 dark yellow. And I'm going to use their XF2 flat white to lighten that a tad. But I'll be using XF16 flat aluminum. Uh, to do the track dry brushing. And this is an old technique. Um, a lot of you guys have seen this before. It's not new, but for the sake, uh, the benefit of a lot of the guys who are new to the hobby, I'm gonna show you this, and I'm no expert at this at all. I do recommend that you use a flat brush. This is actually a trumpeter brush that came out of a set. And what you wanna do is, now I've already pre-mixed these, pre-stirred them up with uh, the stir because the, the Tamias the alcohol base separates from the pigment pretty easily. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get just a little bit of paint on the brush and then I'm gonna take it all off. Really gonna get most of it off. Then you take the tracks and go over it. The uh, metal cleats that stick up on the outside edge of the tracks, the uh, rust and all that wears off, and so this makes a nice, you want to be a little bit random putting it on, makes a nice effect. And that little bit of tiny paint that I had on there actually comes off pretty easily. Do this other side here. Just picking up the raised surface detail. That's all it's doing. Actually getting a little low, so I'm gonna just a dab more. Once again, remove the excess. Come back and pick up where I left off. Pretty happy with the way that looks. And I'm gonna hit just the top of these track spikes as well because the they would rub polished bright as well. If you guys can see me or not, I'm, I'm needing more paint already. I'm going to actually have to dip this into the jar a bit. I'll remove all that excess. Just doing the sides of these tracks. Show some of that worn metal look. You can also do the idler wheel because the idler wheels on the bearing surface that touches the track where wears, you know, basically polished or bright. exact same thing and there's the achieved look so wear worn shiny metal coming through and you do it kind of randomly I'm pretty happy with the way that looks
boom. That didn't take long at all. So uh, we did the tracks, picked up that little bit of detail. I need to clean the brush. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to mix um, the flat white into the dark yellow to get my lightened base color. This I'm going to use some droppers because I just need a tiny amount of paint to dry brush. I'm also doing this to prove that you can brush paint to me a paint. Contrary to popular belief. <laughs> so I'm going to set my tank aside here and my dark yellow. And I'm going to start with four drops. Squirt out the excess. Add a drop of flat white. Let's see how that looks. Mix this up. That is a little light, but you know what? I want that a little lighter than that. Um, I'm going to add another drop of flat white. That's really closer to what I wanted. So what I've done is I've added four drops of dark yellow and then two drops of flat white and now I'm going to uh, add some thinner, some X20 thinner. I have a brand new small bottle here. Now when I thin this for airbrushing, I do it about two to one. So since for brush painting, I don't need to thin it as much. I'm just gonna add one drop. Yeah, another one just for brins. That's it. That's all the thinner I'm adding. There we go. Nice creamy substance. I got my dry brush. My flat brush, I'm over here, I'm use a dry brush. What I'm going to use is to pick up like bolt heads and rivet heads and stuff. Uh, you'll see as I go along here. Sorry, cleaning the mixing brush off here. We are ready to go. So all I do is, once again, in my handy dandy paper towel here, let's lid back on this bottle because I'm going to klutz and knock crap over all the time. Some of the paint, the brush, rip the excess, and let's go a dry brushing. Just touching the raised surface details of this stuff. Just to bring out a little bit of detail. This effect is quite a bit more subtle because I'm using a color very similar to the base coat.
keep knocking a part off. Right now the carpet monster grabbed it. So no telling where it went. Just hitting these details. Like I said, very subtle um, effect. Just want to hit these bolt heads. That's really pretty much it. So. Paint drying pretty quick. All right. There it is. Guys, we just finished the weathering. Um, that's all there was to it. Uh, I wanted to try to keep this as simple as possible, and for the most part, I think I did. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do is uh, spray it in Tester's Dull Coat to seal everything, and then we are voila, we are fini, done with this project. So there it is. Hope I didn't bore you guys. Uh, that's basically the the last, that final dry brushing stage. And uh, we'll, uh, I'm motivated today, so let's go ahead and go get this thing dull coated. I gotta take it outside to do that though, because Heather would kill me if uh, she smelled that enamel dull coat. Anyways, be back in a minute, guys. Take care. Here we are, guys, with the last operational set of this build and this project, which I have found uh, to be quite enjoyable. I hope you guys have enjoyed following along. So what I'm about to do is spray the model in this um, Tester's Flat Lacquer, you know, Hobby Model Craft spray can paint, it's just a flat clear finish. And this is for a couple of reasons. Uh, it protects the paint, protects the decals, it protects the model overall. That way when it's handled in the future, uh, this nice flat dull coat will help, uh, help uh, take it that extra distance when people are messing with it. So, here we go. Just like we before when we were doing the priming, you're gonna do this in short strokes. And that's it. We are done. That uh, really completes the series, the Let's Build a Tank series. Now, this of course has got to dry. And uh, I'm going to let it dry. Um, and then uh, 
maybe I'll put up a couple of photos after the end of that. And uh, I think uh, this has been a fun project. I really do. And Jerry's over here being silly. Jerry, smile for the camera. Isn't he a silly dog? Jerry, you're nuts. What are you doing rolling in the grass? Oh, well. <laughs> it's a dog's life, right? All right, guys. Take care, everybody. See ya.